May 9, Saturday of the fourth week of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else... Believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord I am in the Father and the Father is in me. The early church fathers talk about the divine indwelling, perichoresis, which refers to the relationship of the three persons of the triune God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, to one another. This cleaving together between Jesus and God the Father, entering into each other, permitting each other and dwelling in each other is such that Jesus' works reflect the Father's. Jesus claims the same indwelling at work in the Holy Spirit when He says, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father, He will testify to me. And you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. Jesus extends this oneness of indwelling to the church and to all believers such that those he has mandated to act in his name has a claim to the authority he has empowered them with. At the Last Supper, Jesus prays that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us.